Huge tree fell over and blocked a street in a busy neighborhood just north of Woodland Hill Mall a few weeks ago. Folks living there called the city for help, but when it did not come, they called 2 News problem solver Pete Knutson for help. So Strolling down their driveway, stepping onto their street, Ginger Hendricks and her kids walk a block from home. So Griffin, do you see the big tree? To yeah, double check if a huge down. tree is still blocking the most used and quickest entrance into their neighborhood. Plus a lot of people take this road to go to the mall or to the Senior Citizen uh, Center or over to 61st Street. So we get a lot of traffic. The tree from a lot with a vacant house fell on a Saturday, fell across the entire street, blocking not only the street, but also an elderly woman's driveway, so she couldn't get out. Several neighbors say they called the city's 311 helpline and other numbers over the weekend. But by Monday afternoon, the tree was still there. What's well, a hazard? I mean, people are coming up on it if it's at night and they don't see it. Like others here, Ginger worries that down tree could delay emergency vehicles when minutes or even seconds count. Her kids have special needs, and her mother-in-law lives next door in poor health. And making sure that an ambulance or a fire truck could get by is really important for us. Some of those living nearby cut away part of the tree themselves so the stranded neighbor could get out and small vehicles could maneuver through without gouging the sides and scratching the paint. After their last call to the city though, Ginger says they were told the entire down tree was the neighborhood's responsibility. It's more frustrating that one person sends you to another person who's not even involved, who sends you to another person. But after we contacted the city about the neighbor's concerns, it only took a couple of hours for a crew to show up to start removing the tree. A city representative says he couldn't pinpoint why there was confusion over some of those weekend calls for help. But he says whenever a tree blocks a city street, the city will remove the portion of the tree that's on public property, since that's a public safety issue. Pete Knutson, 2 News Problem Solvers. Now, even though those neighbors say they had issues calling 311, the city says that's really the best way to report problems like the one that they were facing. This not only includes trees, but other debris as well. Well, still ahead tonight, keeping students safe from COVID-19. These are our students and families.